guys it is fatal reaper today bringing you guys another video on modern warfare 2 we're on warzone 2 um today i'm gonna be showing you the best settings on the hp pavilion so again we are on the hp pavilion here um first things first you're gonna want to have v-sync turned on i do recommend turn v-sync a lot of people were like all wanting to oh how many frames can i get how many fps can i get don't worry about any of that turn v-sync on and cap it at 60 that's going to be your best friend in the scenario turn anything you can on high or uh or not excuse me turn anything that's on high turn it on low or normal especially shadows so i'm gonna get down here in the, uh in a second all these shadows shadow uh, shadow quality and all that like shader quality you can probably keep shader quality on medium uh, i did for this video but i would definitely turn them to either low or normal again you can tweak some of these to your liking but here shadows you always want shadows either turned off or on low if it has a uh, uh, setting to go off turn it off anything with shadows this is going to maximize your performance as well as your fps if you wanted to get higher fps but like i said i do recommend turning vsync on apply those settings and then hop into the game now i did hop into a game pretty short for this video i didn't take too long i just kind of ran around a little bit in the pre-game lobby and stuff like that so the, it, the frames did go down a bit uh, i did realize that my graphics drivers were not up to date um, which sometimes can have some uh, impact on it sometimes not um, uh, it just depends, but do make sure your graphics drivers and all that are always up to date before you jump into any game like that, especially on the HP Pavilion here. Like I said, though, the gameplay was smooth with these settings. I had no issues. I played at ease, as I have been lately, uh, through the videos that I've done previously to show you guys. But Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 as a whole does run perfectly fine on the HP Pavilion. I've had no issues with it so far. I've had no issues with crashing or anything like that. I know a lot of people usually have crashing issues to begin with. Uh, do make sure that you do have an SSD, by the way. So if you use an external hard drive, make sure that's an SSD if you are playing with an external hard drive and you've downloaded that. A lot of people say, oh, I have crashes. I had a lot of crashes too when I, re I didn't realize that my Modern Warfare 2 was actually on my uh, regular hard drive for my main PC instead of my SSD. When I switched, switched it over to the SSD, had no issues. Do make sure it is on your SSD. The HP Pavilions typically do come with an SSD built in, so make sure it's in your SSD built in and not an external hard drive. That being said, guys, again, remember your graphics drivers. Remember, play on charger, high performance, and keep your settings on low or medium setting, and you should have no issues playing games like Modern Warfare 2 here, Warzone 2, or anything like that. Uh, again, this is the HP Pavilion. I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this build, so do make sure you have 16 gigs of RAM as well. Uh, that being said, guys, if you have any questions, let's leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as quick as I can, and I'll see you guys in the next, vid uh, next video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Let's catch you guys later. Hostile UAV in the area.